is everyone? Welcome back to another Gunpla review. Well, sort of. I guess this is not technically Gunpla, but anyway, it is the figureized bust of Fumina Hoshino from Gundam Build Fighters Try. I never even thought about it before, but this isn't really Gunpla, is it? Like, it's got no grade or something like that. Like, seriously, this is as Gunpla as a model kit of Goku. But I don't know, let me know in the comments, do you think this counts as Gunpla or not? Anyway, there is the front of the box, there is what the finished model will look like. There is a picture of the character herself, flip that around to the side. And we've got some more pictures of what it will look like finished. Some info on the way the mold is put together. And another kind of argument towards, I guess, that this isn't Gunpla, is the fact that all Gunpla now has an English translation, this doesn't. So flip that around to the other side, and there is the picture which this is based on. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's from the credits of Gundam Build Fighters Try. There's a bit of a blurb about the character herself. Again, it's not translated this time around. And there is a picture of, I guess, its intended purpose, which is displaying it with one of her Gunpla. And this time around, it's the star winning Gundam. Anyway, that is all that's on the box. I think this here is the recommended retail price, which is 1,500 yen. This cost me 1,200 yen plus tax at Yamada Denki. And I guess that's enough about the box. Let's bust this thing open and see what we've got in here. Get this tape out of the way. If this is like Gunpla, then the manual should be in the bottom, is it? Yes, it is. So move the box out of the way for a second, there is the parts list, so we've got a grand total of 7 runners and 2 sheets of stickers. Fold that out, there's the same pictures that are on the box. There is the assembly and incredibly, incredibly simple looking. This other side has a section here for replacing missing parts and in here is some more of the assembly as well as how to attach it to an action base. So anyway, let's move on to the runners themselves. So in the box we have one, two, three, four, five different bags. So let's move on to the first bag. So the first runner in here is runner B1. This is from 2016, so I assume this is the same as the other version of Fumina that came out before. Next up then is runner B2, again more hair parts as well as a pink section over here, which is the hair tie or scrunchie or whatever that is. And... So here we have runner F and this is some serial killer shit right here, which I think is the intended audience, so that makes sense. And we've got two hands as well as the severed thumbs. This is a brand new runner for 2017, so that does mean these are reused from the older kit, and this is the first new runner so far. So that means what's in here is runner BU1. This is from 2016. I think this is the same kind of stand section you get with all of these bases. And also in here is the sticker for sticking on that and that says Gundam Build Fighters Try Fumina Hoshino. So of course and in here is runner A which is the eyes and again this never ceases to amaze me. This looks so good. It's hard to believe all these colors are cast from individual pieces of plastic. I mean, this looks like a 2D image or print on here. This is absolutely mind-blowing. This is from 2016, so I'm guessing it's the same as the last version of Fumina. And again, they look insanely good. Insanely good. And on to the last one, so... So this is Runner E2, and obviously this is a brand new runner for this kit, as it has the costume from this kit. This is a multicolored runner with white, dark navy blue and the face over here which looks absolutely awesome without its eyes. I don't think it should change that. Imagine how much better it would look with those dark, empty, soulless pits. Same goes for the eyebrows. The last runner in here then is E1, again brand new for this kit and a multicolored runner. And we've got the neck over here, the dark navy blue sections of the body as well as a white section of the body there and that is all there is for runners. Last up in here then is the stickers and we've got four fairly large white stickers in here. Again, I guess that's not the worst, but we've also got this cute little cat. I think it's a cat. Is it meant to be a Haro? A Haro cat? I don't know, whatever. So finally, there is the entire contents of this box. So that is four old runners from the previous kit, three brand new runners for this kit right here, as well as two sets of stickers. Anyway, that is it for the unboxing. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, make sure to come back for more Gumpla unboxings and reviews, and I'll see you next time.